started in 1967 by the Ontario WCTU in Ontario's uh, Centenary Project. And it was called at that time Youth Arama. But it has gone on to today. And many of the youth you saw in that uh, video were from a high risk area of Toronto. And we bring them along with us. And let me tell you, they have a good time, but they also have a time when they come close to the Lord, when they do the poster contest, when they sign the pledge. Don't think kids don't want to hear it today. Let me tell you, they are hungry for something to believe in. I have heard of so many coming out of Montreal, teenagers who are going over to fight with ISIS and the Taliban. They want something to believe in, and if we don't give it to them, they will find it someplace else. But they want it. And it says, so surrounded by so great a kind of witnesses, let us run the race not only for the prize, but as those who have gone before us, let us leave to those behind us the heritage of faithfulness Pass on to godly lives. May all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of de our devotion like their way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe, and the lives we live inspire them to obey. Let us all covenant with God at this convention that that is exactly what we are going to do when we go home. Let us pray. Father, I come before you and I thank you, Father God, for your faithfulness to each and every one of us, Lord, and for the cause of temperance, Father, we thank you. And Lord, the world is changing. The world is becoming a different place. In Canada, they are going to legalize marijuana, and all kinds of things are happening. But you are constant. You change not your words then. Yesterday, today, and forever, you are the same. And it doesn't matter what man changes, what laws he changes, what things he allows that, that are horrible for us to even see, we have a God that never changes. And we have a God who brings the victory. And we have a God who is able. He has the heart of the king, the Bible says, in his hand. And Father, all we have to do is call upon you. All we have to do is use our 911 number found in Jeremiah 33.3. And when we call upon you, you too are going to show us great and wonderful things that we could never have imagined. So Father, help us not to lose hope, not to be discouraged, but to press forward, knowing that if God is for us, who can be against us? In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Let us prepare our hearts for uh, the supper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. That's really inspiring. And as we do come now to focus on what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. Let's think when I survey the one who the cross. <laughs>
and our sorrow for all our sins. Father, forgive us, strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Hear God's word of praise to us. If we convince our sins, he is faithful and just, and he will give us our sins, and purify us from all our righteousness. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Almighty Father, Creator and Sustainer of life, your majesty and power, your continued blessings, and your great goodness fill us with wonder. We are unworthy of the pardon you have mercifully granted. He can only bring our thanks, putting our trust in your Son, who alone saves us from evil. Be joined with chorus of angels and the whole creation in that great revelation given and say, Christ, your only Son. 
Thank you, Father. 